Hey, Tom. Ham. Dan. Dan. Hi, Dan. Do you want ham? I don't have any ham. What are you doing here? I live here. Great. Did your hair lose weight? What's in the living room? What is the living room? Did you get new arms? Move out of the way. No. <laughs> Nice chair, let's just look at it. I've already seen the dead body. You can't distract me. It's so nice. What are all these dead bodies doing here? Honestly, not much. I'm calling the police. Uh, uh, Ham. Hmm? I want answers. Okay, I lied. I do have ham. About the bodies! Oh, well, you know when you want to tell someone something but you don't want to hurt their feelings so you kind of bottle it all up inside until it slowly but surely develops into an overwhelming guy should kill them? Obviously. I can't just so I could kill you. Dun, dun, ham. Oh my god. Wait, why did you clone me twice? Yes. Twice. Hola. Oh, adios. Who was that? That was Spanish Dan. I called him Span. Why? It's a portmanteau of Spanish and Dan. No, why was he Spanish? Oh, yeah, the cloning process took a while to perfect. There were rejects. How many rejects? Remember kids, if a strange man offers you sweets, there's probably more in his car. Uh, really bad advice, Dan. All right. Uh, drink bleach! I really hate this next guy. Racist Dan. Whoa. The clones, the cl- what, really? Really? Oh. Barbershop Quartet Dan. So, um, is that all of them? Well, there's suicidal Dan, but uh, yep, that's all of them. Thank God. You know, if you have something to say, you can just say it to me. We've all bottled up our feelings to the point where we feel like our only option is to murder a bunch of clones, but you can just talk to me, okay? Thanks, Dan. So, uh, what was it you wanted to say? You're a clone. What? I turned the real Dan into a chair. What? I call him Chan. Ah!